Well, congratulations. How does this moment feel? Uh, this is, it's very surreal. I feel like I haven't even let it settle in yet. <laughs> what part of it is surreal? Is it the fact that, you know, you're in the UFC, you have a UFC win, or, or you know, what, what part is the most surreal to you, I think? I think it's a combination of things. I think it's the fact that, um, you know, I come from a super small town, and I've always just played sports my whole life, and, um, you know, once I started getting into fighting, I always you know, had the goal to be a UFC fighter, but to have that goal and to obtain that goal are two completely different feelings. You know, you, you know you belong somewhere and you, and you think that, you know, it's going to feel the same as it always does, but it, it doesn't. It's, a, it's an amazing feeling and I'm super honored and, and um, appreciative to be here today. I know it was, a, it was a bit since you've had a fight too. There was a little bit of a layoff there. What was it like during that time, uh, not knowing if you would, you would fight again or win? Um, you know, I, I kind of had that over the last four years. I, I had a good two-year two layover before I fought in that 2021 fight. Um, and then from that 21 fight till now. Um, so I'm not really a stranger to that time off. And I found that during that time off, I kind of become a sponge to the sport. And um, I really just dive deep and just really learn and, and try to evolve my game. So, you know, where I'd like to be fighting more often, um, it just wasn't a, a thing that was available to me. There was just no opponents and nobody that was available to fight. Um, but I don't really think I'm going to have a problem anymore finding a fight. So um, here I am now. And speaking of that, when do you want to get back in there? I mean, there's a Vancouver card and, you know, a couple weeks off and I'll be ready to go for that. But um, I'd like to fight as often as possible and stay active. And, um, you know, I, I came out of this fight pretty unscathed, so I'm ready to go whenever. And, and what are your thoughts about your opponent missing weight? I know that, you know, that happens sometimes. There's, you know, sometimes extenuating circumstances. What were the thoughts when you found out she wasn't going to make weight? Um, to be honest, I, I don't want to say I don't care, but uh, it's just never been something that, that's ever happened to me, so I'm not really, I'm not really sure how one in, person in that position feels. Um, you know, it is very frustrating. It's, I feel like it's something that, you know, we can control. Um, but, you know, definitely there's so many different elements to not being able to make weight as a female. Um, I get that, and, um, you know, we were never going to say no to this opportunity, so... Um, you know, I didn't really think twice about it. I wasn't going to let it be an issue or a thought in my mind. I kind of just said, okay, whatever, we're taking the fight. We'll just move past. Thank you. Thank you so much. If you could, we definitely saw the, the, the kicks were playing a big part out there for you. What was the overall game plan for her coming in tonight? Um, you know, we, we knew that she was going to be a little bit bigger, um, potentially, and uh, stronger, and that she knew that me coming up as a flyweight, fighting at bantamweight, that she might want to push me up and, and kind of hold me against the cage. So... Um, ultimately, our game plan was to, you know, keep distance, strike, and, and circle off the cage and, and sort of not engage um, until we felt like we were in a good position to do so. Um, and then once we got our hands on each other tonight, I felt like I wasn't undersized. I knew I wasn't going to be under strength. Um, you know, I have a really good pre-fight game plan. I have amazing coaches with my strength and conditioning and my striking and grappling. So, um, you know, we were really prepared for what we thought she was going to do. And, and um you know, we always have game plan A, B, and C, so we had lots to work with tonight. Last question for me. I know it's not T-Mobile Arena, but you are still here in Vegas for your, your UFC debut. How special was that for you, and uh, could you feel the, 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 the bigness of being here in Vegas? I mean, yeah, Vegas. Who doesn't, doesn't want to fight in Las Vegas? It's awesome to say your first UFC fight was in Vegas, no matter where it is. Um, I could be fighting in a cage in the parking lot, because um, really what... What, what matters is, is what's going on in the cage and what, what the outcome is. Um, you know, I have a really good team, like I said, surrounded. I have a good bunch of good friends and family that have bought tickets that are here tonight. So to me, that was, um, that was the whole world. How special was it for your family to be here as well? I mean, I know it's one thing you always believed that you were going to make it here, but to finally get here and then to be able to share that with your, your friends and family, how special was that tonight? Uh, I mean, it's, that's kind of a big part of who I am and what, why I do what I do. Um, you know, I, I, my, a huge part of my motivation is my friends and my family um, and the support system that I have. Um, it definitely fuels my fire. Um, you know, going back to my community and having all the kids that I coach, like, through sports, through our gym and off-ice gym programs, um, you know, they're so inspired. And to me, that's a huge win. And I, and I love to be able to give back a little bit and show the kids in the community and, and not just the kids, the moms and dads, that, um, you know, anything's obtainable if you keep working hard. 
Do you know if any of the kids and the, the families got together to watch your fight tonight? Oh, man. I, I mean, I know for a fact we have a baseball tournament in Squamish. It's huge. Um, they scheduled no games at 1.30. Uh, they have a huge projector screen and a viewing down at the whole ball field. Um, and then my, my strength and conditioning gym, they did the same thing. They canceled classes. They have projector screens. There's viewing parties all over Squamish. I have... 15 friends in Mexico sitting in the airport watching it right now. So um, I'm really, really grateful and I'm really blessed with the family and friends that I have. That's awesome. Congrats on the victim, uh, victory and welcome <laughs> to the UFC. Thank you so much.